and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how easy it is to subscribe to this channel. Now pay close attention. At the beginning of the video, you should see a little box in the top right corner. Click on this, and it'll take you to this page. At this point there, you just click that, and hey presto, you've subscribed. As an added bonus, if I manage to reach 100 subscribers, by the start of September 2013, I'm going to send all my subscribers a very special thank you video. Don't forget, if you wish to discuss any of the matters discussed in the show, you can email me here at Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Now let's do the right thing, and I'm God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 29 Now Jacob went on his journey and came to the land of the children of the east. He looked and he beheld a well in the field and he beheld three flocks of sheep lying there by it. For out of that well they watered the flocks. The stone on the well's mouth was large. There all the flocks were gathered. They rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the sheep, put the stone again on the well's mouth in its place. Jacob said to them, My relatives, where are you from? He said, We are from Moran. He said to them, Do you know Laban, the son of Nahor? He said, We know him. He said to them, Is it well with him? He said, It is well. See, Rachel, his daughter, is coming with the sheep. He said, Behold, it is still the middle of the day. Not time to gather the livestock together. Water the sheep and go and feed them. They said, We can't, until all the flocks are gathered together. And they rolled a stone from the world's mouth. Then we watered the sheep. While he was yet speaking with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she kept them. When Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, Jacob went near and rolled the stone from Noel's mouth and watered the flock of Laban his mother's brother. Jacob kissed Rachel and lifted up his voice and wept. Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's nephew and he was Rebekah's son. She ran and told her father. When Laban heard the news of Jacob, his sister's son, he ran to meet Jacob and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to the house. Jacob told Laban all these things. Laban said to him, Surely you are my bone and my flesh. He lived with him for a month. Laban just said to Jacob, Because you are my nephew, should you therefore serve me for nothing? Tell me, what will your wages be? Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah's eyes were weak, for Rachel was beautiful in form and attractive. Jacob loved Rachel. He said, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. Laban said, It is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to another man. Stay with me. Jacob served seven years for Rachel. They seemed to him but a few days for the love he had for her. Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled that I may go into her. Laban gathered all the men of the place and made a feast. In the evening he took Leah's daughter and brought her to him. He went into her. Laban gave Zilpah his servant to his daughter Leah for a servant. In the morning, behold, it was Leah. He said to Laban, What is this you have done to me? Didn't I serve with you for Rachel? Why then have you deceived me? The band said, It is not done so in our place, to give the younger before the first one. Fulfill the week of this one, and we will give you the other one, also for the service, which you will serve with me yet seven other years. Jacob did so, and fulfilled the week. He gave Rachel his daughter his wife. The band gave to Rachel his daughter, Bilhah, his servant, to be her servant. Jacob went in also to Rachel, and he loved also Rachel more than Leah, and served with him yet seven other years. 
Yahweh saw that Leo was hated, and he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. Leah conceived and bore a son, and she named him Reuben. For she said, Yahweh has looked at my affliction, for now my husband will love me. She conceived again and bore a son, and said, Because Yahweh has heard that I am hated, he has therefore given me this son also. She named him Simeon. She conceived again and bore a son. She said, Now this time will my husband be joined to me, because they have borne him three sons. Therefore his name was Levi. She conceived again and bore a son. She said, This time I will praise Yahweh. Therefore she named him Judah. Then she stopped bearing.